Good afternoon, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. We are starting to spark a road um, through a broken 6mm drill bit that's uh, down the side of this forging and it's, we're down about this level at the moment uh, we've got about 60 to 70 millimeters to go um, we're set up here with the um, with the head um, and at, the, at present we're on about 30 just under 30 mil and we'll be watching this as it advances uh, part of the it's a copper electrode the one we're using here is a hollow one and uh, you can see the dribble running down the front of it that is water coming back up from below now um, we're using our uh, our pressure bottle here to spray in clean water from time to time um, and this bottle this pressure bottle is full of uh, rainwater that I harvested in, in July 2013 um, I have quite a quite a supply of different water and 2013 was a good year so <coughs> this is just a, a very laborious and slow process we do about um, three eighths to half inch per hour and we've got 90 millimeters here so that's nine hours in the worst case scenario and we'll just <coughs> pump give her a bit more pressure there got a cup of tea here beside me as well a bit early yet for the single malt and here we have the unit <coughs> is actually uh, operating or we're, we're operating on a 10 second six second cycle and we're on low we're going to pump that up to to mid strength um, and you can see you should be able to see here the, that light going up and down as the power is emitted to it and you can hear the, the noise of it working and we just keep repla replenishing this water what you see coming out here is black water and you might be able to see there they, those are steel molecules and little black bits of rubbish is the steel that's actually been disintegrated and some people call this uh, actually a disintegrator it's an EDM, it's an electrical discharge machine and that's that's what uh, it operates and we've gone down about three and a half maybe four mil at the moment and we'll carry on a bit longer and then we'll pull it back clean up the end of the electrode because it gets all daggy um, and uh, we'll carry on uh, bit by bit we'll work on this this is one. This is the number four uh, of this series of um, forgings that each one of them had one broken uh, drill bit in, in varying lengths and varying depths. And we've used all different other options to get down to the depth we're in at the moment, and breaking off bits and pieces at a time with uh, carbide drills and so forth. But we've got to a point now where we can't um, can't do any more it's just too deep and, and too narrow to have to work any other way so we're down now down, down about five mil part of that advancement that we can see here and i can adjust this uh, up and down wherever i want to use as a reference um, when it comes down to zero there's a little micro switch in here and that stops the advancement and takes the, the the electrode back up to the zero point at the top and this has potentially a hundred millimeters of travel um, but we part of that travel we use on this bar here this hex bar which I made up uh, instead of the round bar because that allows me to raise it and lower it in the same position whereas with the round round post that it had before which was supplied with um, that uh, that you couldn't get back into the same spot again as you would wish so at the moment we're still advancing and then quite often I will do this work inside this bath I'll put if it's a small piece I'll fit it into the bath here and on this rod of the I'll fit the head and here are some pieces of copper of copper and brass 
that I make electrodes out of, machine them to sight, to suit uh, the different depths and everything else. So anything more than this is just going to be boring, we'll just carry on and then if anything interesting comes up, we'll return.